Besides being an excellent live show mover and the most Genesis track on the Genesis album, I always feel bad when listening to the studio version instead of the live version because I feel like the studio version didn't finish its drum sessions. It's not like the studio version lacks sections, rather, the studio version has instruments doing less, for example in the Waterworld section, as Phil called it, in the studio version they added some digital effects that remind me a bit of Duchess. Jet Live, Phil shakes the sticks on a metal plate to make this very nice sound that fits perfectly with the underwater feeling. After that, in the second section we have double drums when live. There is another section that gets calmer here as well, and here Phil does a very subtle change that I really like. Right before the guitar solo, the keyboard just disappears when going down. Yet Tony actually finishes going down and in a different way as well, a way that sounds more similar to his solo career stuff. Mike's guitar solo on here is almost always different. He sometimes goes very high and then instantly drops for the end. Speaking of that end, now they have to wait for Phil to get outside the drums and into the microphone. Not only is that a very impressive feat, but also adds tension to the end of the song. 